Hey everybody, Rich here. Over the past one or two years, Steam has been releasing some classic games. When I say classic, I mean really classic, because these are some games that actually ran originally in DOS. For those that don't know what DOS is, that's Disk Operating System, or more appropriately, MS-DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System. And there were a lot of games for that, one of them being Star Wars Dark Forces. If you're familiar with the Jedi Knight series of video games, Dark Forces is more or less where it all started. It is more or less a Doom with a Star Wars theme to it, but it's still a good game. So if you like Star Wars, Dark Forces is good. But there are other games on Steam that also use DOSBox, and the problem... Uh, being that they use DOSBox to actually run the game. In Windows Vista and Windows 7, there's no way to make it go full screen, and you're treated to this tiny window, which is especially annoying if you have a large resolution monitor. I'll give you an example. I'll just launch the game here. You saw a little DOSBox, excuse me, DOSBox flash. This is as big as it gets. Just get to the main menu here. And as you notice, there's no way to maximize this, nor is there any way to resize the window, nor is there any way to go full screen with it. You can change this, but it does require manually editing a dosbox.conf file. And I'll show you where that is. Now before editing the file, the game cannot be running, because it won't take effect unless you relaunch the game with the new configuration file anyway. So you exit the game. And I already have my configuration file open here. Now, uh, first question, okay, where is this file? This file is located <clears throat> in C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then the game directory itself, which in this case is Dark Forces. If you happen to be using Notepad, I'm using Notepad Plus, excuse me, Notepad Plus Plus. If you happen to be using regular Notepad to open this, uh, what'll happen is that if you go to this directory, all you'll see is this, which is nothing. It's because Notepad by default will only uh, show TXT files, so you have to make sure to go where it shows the file type and do all files, which will then show dosbox.conf. What I did here in this dosbox configuration file now, uh, one minor note before continuing, you can really change around how DOSBox works. If you actually go onto Google and search for DOSBox and Steam, you'll see uh, guys out there on forums that have massive configuration file examples that you can use if you really want to go uh, super custom with it, changing frame rates and CPU cycles and things like that. But this is just the easy, simple way of doing it. Now, for my first example, I'm just going to show a larger windowed state. It requires SDL bracket, SDL, N bracket, and then four settings. Full screen equals false. Why false? Because it's a windowed state. Full resolution equals 1024 by 768. Window resolution equals 1024 by 768. Why 1024 by 768? It's a personal preference. For me, the window is large enough and uh, at 1024 by 768. And lastly, output equals overlay. And then I save this, oops, I save this file. And with these settings in here, and I launch Dark Forces, see the DOS box. Now that's more like it. Nice big window. Go to the main menu. And this is much better for me anyway. And you can make this bigger or smaller. Now, if you want to go full screen, exit this again, the settings are slightly different. You have to do full screen equals true and set the both of these to the native resolution of your monitor. Mine happens to be 1680 by 1050 window resolution, 1680 by 1050. And the most important part, part of this is output ddraw not overlay ddraw means direct draw it uses scaling in order to make it full screen now you don't have to use uh, the native resolution of your monitor you could use 644 8 by 6 24 7 6, whatever you want uh, the reason I say use your native resolution is because the game will look best in there but if you have problems with it not running good if it 
kind of slows down a little bit when you have it at a resolution that high. You can always go lower. It's not a big deal. Unfortunately, I can't show this in a screencast here for obvious reasons, because once it goes full screen, you won't see anything in the screencast. But that is the way you do it. So in full screen, you do full screen true, full resolution, native, native, and then output equals D drop. And I'm going to go back to overlay, full screen, false. 1024, 768 for both of these. Save. And we're done. Again, on Google, you might want to go and search for Steam and DOSBox.conf in a Google search. And there are places and forums and things of that sort where you'll see guys that go really crazy with these configuration files if you want to eke out as much performance as possible because you are using a simulated environment with DOSBox. And that's it, and then you'll be able to play your game no problem. Oh, also one final note before I close this out. This does not work on all DOS box games. I want to make that very clear. Most of them it will work, but on some it won't. On Dark Forces it does, and it's assumed that for any other DOS based title on Steam it will also work. But if it doesn't, don't be surprised on this one. It does, and on most of the others, as far as I know, it does. Happy gaming. Take it easy.